In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add closed captions in Adobe Premiere Pro. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and as I mentioned, we're going to be creating some closed captions in Adobe Premiere Pro today and we're not going to be using any plugins, any external software. We're going to do it all inside our Premiere Pro. So I have a clip that I recorded of myself, you know, with audio, obviously. And I want to show you guys how to do your own captions in Premiere Pro. And what's cool is just so you can test this feature yourself and edit with me and create the captions with me, you can download this clip that I'm editing with today by clicking the first link in this video description. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into Premiere Pro. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro 2022 and I'm just gonna go ahead and click new project. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and name my project right here, LSPV closed caption tutorial, right? And you have your project location here and you can choose that and customize it as you would like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click create, right? And then we're just gonna wait for Premiere to open our project and here's our project. And the first thing I'm going to do is just drag in the footage that I want to work with today and I have it right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it in or you could have gone ahead and right click and click import like I just did, right? And now that I have my clip here in Premiere Pro, I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and then I'm gonna click new sequence from clip, right? And that's going to give us a new sequence here that we can work in and with which we can create some closed captions, right? So firstly, to create your captions, you wanna go ahead and locate your workspaces up top here. And then you can go ahead and click captions and your workspace, meaning your window, how your screen looks in Premiere Pro will change. And then we're now in the graphics and the captions workspace. And what you want to do is right here, you'll see captions, right? That little captions tab here. And then you have transcript and graphics. And what you want to do first is click transcribe sequence, right? And you're going to get a little dialog box with some options here. And I usually just click, keep my language to English because I speak English primarily, obviously. And for my audio track, you can choose the particular audio track that you want to create your captions for, right? So if you have a video with two audio tracks with one person speaking on track one and another person speaking on track two, you can do it individually or you can choose mix like I have and then Premiere Pro will just listen to everything and separate your speakers for you like speaker one or speaker two and then create your captions that way, right? But all I'm gonna be doing today is choosing the mix feature and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click transcribe, right? And then Premiere Pro is gonna listen to the audio and make the captions for me. It's gonna generate the captions based on what it's hearing from my audio track. And the key thing to note here is that the quality of the captions that Premiere Pro will give you is heavily dependent on how clear the speaker in your video is speaking, right? If they're speaking gibberish and not coming through very clearly, then obviously Premiere Pro is going to have a hard time transcribing it, right? Now ours is complete. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what we have here, right? So the captions are right here and it's a short clip. It's literally like six seconds long, right? Now let's go ahead and hit space bar to play it. All right, so here in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add closed captions using Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's play it one more time. And because of how I spoke in this clip, the captions are perfect, right? Let's go ahead and press play. All right, so here in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add closed captions using Adobe Premiere Pro. Perfect, perfect. Now all you have to do next is go ahead and click create captions. And then Premiere Pro will ask you a bunch of options, you know, the maximum length of characters, you know, how long you want stuff to come up on screen. If you want single lines or double lines, you can customize this based on your liking. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and click create, right? And let's just allow Premiere to do its thing. 
and then we can go ahead and customize our captions. And if I were to go ahead and just close this essential graphics panel here, let me show you what I have. All of these orange layers here, you see it says subtitle, right? All of these are my captions. So if I were to go ahead and hit play, it will come up over here, right? Let me show you. All right, so here in this, see, we have our captions right here, but it's a little bit um, in it ineligible or eligible <laughs> what's that word it's a little bit hard to read so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and select all of it and then i have to go back in my graphics tab and then now that i'm in my graphics tab i can go ahead and edit the text so the first thing i want to do is change the font from tahoma to um circular because that's the font that i use for all my thumbnails and then I'm gonna change the fill. You see you have the fill here, which is the color of the font. You can just use the eyedropper tool to pick from your color library if you have a library, or you can change the background. Let me add a background and turn off the shadow. And then these controls right here is telling you how much transparency you want in your background. If you bring it all the way down to the zero, you have no background. Let's bring it up to about in the eighties. Let's give it some spacing off of the edge of the text. Let's give it some curves on the side. Let's round up the sides a little bit. Not so much. And then let's go ahead and just move it up. I have some positions right here. I can put it in the middle of the video, at the top of the video, or in the lower third of the video. But let's just move it up some. And then let's go ahead and just size it down from 48, you know, the text size to about Let's see what 35 looks like for the purposes of this tutorial. I think 35 is good. And now let me change the background color. Background is right here. Let me just pick with the eyedropper tool and select my orange or my blue. And that let me just adjust this a little more because I, because I have the cursor highlighter on the yellow, it's throwing off my orange, <laughs> but this is fine. And then let me just, um, reduce the strength of the orange a little bit or you can just go ahead and do like a default black you know just like how it is on your television at home you know you can do that as well and now if i were to go ahead and save this control and s to save and go back to the beginning and hit play you can see what we have let's go ahead all right so here in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add closed captions using adobe premiere pro see that that's perfect and i can just lengthen this so it stays on screen to the end and that's all there is to it that simple that straightforward to adding captions closed captions to your videos in premiere pro once you have crisp clear audio and your words are coming through clearly and premiere pro can hear it then you'll have no issue whatsoever so have you ever wanted to add captions to your videos did you know that Premiere Pro can add closed captions to your videos for you. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is C Jam, and I will see you guys in the next video.